Kong in Hong Kong. Buck Yan Jong. Translated word for word means wooden man trunk. In other words, wooden dummy. Originally, it was known as a Mui Fa Jong. Mui Fa meaning plum blossom. Since it does closely resemble a man as it was designed to, it is generally known as the Muk Yan Jong. Muk Yan Jong is a training device exclusive to Wing Chun. It is the final stage of training for hand and foot techniques. Therefore, those who have studied the 108 Muk Yan Jung techniques must have first achieved a high level of proficiency in the art of Wing Chun. Those who truly know all of these techniques number but a few. Of those few, only a handful were taught by Yip Man himself. The 108 Muk Yan Jung techniques include practically all the Wing Chun hand and foot techniques. They are, in effect, those techniques in various combinations and in every conceivable application. They can be broken down into three categories. Number one, neutralization maneuvers. Number two, confrontations and counterattacks. Number three, blatant attacks. These techniques finalize one's hand, foot, and body positions. Precision is of the utmost importance. The techniques train one to respond to an attack with a counter that is not only instantaneous and spontaneous, but the most appropriate and therefore the most effective. Incidentally, some Muk Yang Jong techniques may not seem to conform to Wing Chun's theory of economy of motion. For example, some of the changes of body positions from left to right and vice versa may seem unnecessary but they're actually done to compensate for the fact that the Muk Yan Jung itself doesn't turn as a real opponent would when struck or blocked with force. Until a fully automatic Muk Yan Jung is invented that is capable of reacting more realistically, one will simply have to live with concessions like these. When the 108 techniques were first taught by Yip Man, they were taught on very irregular occasions and under different circumstances. As a result, there have been questions as to what the proper sequence should really be. Actually, it isn't all that important whether one knows the absolutely correct sequence or not. What is important is that one has truly understood them and has mastered them thoroughly.